वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम एक्चुअली मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन सॉल्विंग अ लीड कोड चैलेंज सो वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स हैड अ डाउट ऑन हाउ कैन वी अप्रोच दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड आई गेव इट अ थाट एंड आई हैड अ अप्रोच इन माइंड सो आई थाट ऑफ मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन इट एंड ऑल्सो कोड इट एंड सी वेदर माई लॉजिक वर्क और नॉट राइट सो या लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द क्वेश्चन इज समथिंग लाइक यू आर गिवन अरे ऑफ बलून्स and balloons have different colors obviously they signify them using the lower case letters so um, if the lower case letters are a so just imagine it as one color b is a separate color c is a separate color so if we give them different colors the array would look something like this now we need to figure out um like we may basically we make we need to make this array colorful so by that it means that no consecutive balloon should have same color right so in our case we see first is blue red it's fine blue again is fine but there are two blues uh, back to back so we need to remove one of them and in order to remove them we are also provided with another array say which is named as needed time so we want to make sure that we make the array colorful at the same time the time needed to remove the total number of balloons um should be less right so we want to minimize that so in this case let's say the balloon at position 3 has needed time of 3 seconds and balloon at position 4 has needed time of 4 seconds so it makes sense to remove the one with 3 seconds because Three seconds is less than four, and I don't want to spend any more time. Similarly, if we go down and take this example, this area is already colorful, so we don't need to do anything. Then we move here. Here we see that there are two cases where the colors are back to back same. So in this case, I actually take care of the ones which take less time, right? um let's and before coding let's understand this problem um by going over the example so let me go here and let me create something like um uh, like an example so uh, i will first let me type it out let's say we have something like a a let me zoom this in okay so we have a a let's say a b a b b b b right so we have something like this let me give it a needed time so this takes 3 seconds 5 seconds this takes 2 similarly this takes um 6 this takes 5 this takes 5 4 8 and 1 right so these are the needed times now um let me create the colors because i have two colors i'll create a with red so i have red here then for b i will use green then i have a and then i have green which is a 1 2 3 4 right so i have four here now what i can do here is if we see clearly um the first three balloons are in um are together so i am confident that um in order to make it colorful i can only have one balloon out of these three right so these three is a group so it logically makes sense to keep the balloon which has the maximum needed time which is the balloon with the number 5 right so if i keep this balloon and i take out these two balloons then it makes sense that okay a total time it's taken till now will be 3 plus 2 because the first balloon takes 3 and sec third balloon takes 2 if i had removed the second balloon then the needed time would have increased by 5 and i don't want to increase that 5 because i have to i want to minimize it right now let's come to the next group which would be it's the only single balloon so we don't care so let's keep it similarly after this there isn't any group like there is a div division um so we keep that balloon as well now here we come and we see the four balloons right now in this four balloons also it makes sense to keep the balloon which 
takes the maximum needed time which is our balloon with the number 8 so I remove these three balloons so my sum becomes now 5 plus 4 plus 1 which is equal to 15 15 is my answer because 15 is the total needed time uh, needed to make this um, array colorful right now if if we try to remove any other balloon you will see the time will increase and it's not gonna give us the optimal answer so in this case i can actually greedily use my logic to remove the balloons in a group right so think of it as like i can start a for loop um, from the start of the balloon and then till the time i see that the balloons match right i take out that group out of that group i take out the one which has the maximum value and just add the rest of them to my answer right so let's code it now my answer is zero i'll start a for loop now i'll keep the i as it is um because as i said i'll be starting another inside for loop now inside for loop doesn't mean that it's o of n square because if we see our constraints um, 10 to the power 5 is the allowed n value so we'll need to do it in o of n so i will be traversing over each balloon only once right and you will see how that happens so i will create another variable j max index so max index will keep store of the maximum index for one group right as i said in our case um, this last four balloons is one group and the first three balloons in one group and the other ones are individual ones because um, the group will be formed till the time we iterate over them All right so i have j colors of length colors of i equals equals colors that j okay now i'll just make sure that if needed time uh, for any other value is greater than my maximum value that I have then I'll update my max index equal to J and then I will have needed time as J cool and I will increment J plus plus now here we need to do one more thing I'll do I equal to J because um, there is no way to increment I so and I have already traversed those values right so I don't need to go over them again otherwise it will become o of n square now i will have my sum equal to zero now i'll just iterate over what i had between i and j right because that's my range let's say if there was only one color balloon in the group so it won't go inside this for loop because i am having this condition right and then if my k is not equal to max index so just ignore the max index right sum plus equal to needed time and then answer plus equal to sum and then i can return my answer let's see let's run this um it will run on the default test case oops uh, where did it give the error expression unused oh sorry okay it works i hope it works on our test case as well okay it works so yeah this was the approach i hope it was clear if so um, if you have any doubts please ask me in the comments and then i'll reply also you can join my discord group for asking any doubts and i'm readily available hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and follow me on instagram thanks everyone